Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a keyboard from a, I don't think, well, I think they're a newer company, but not that new. I just have not had a chance to take a look at their keyboards, but uh, they reached out to me, um, I think from one of my other contacts, like they knew each other, whatever. But I have heard about this board just here and there. I don't really know much about it, except what I've heard thus far is positive, but they sent me out two different colorways. They have, I think, four or five colorways. But today we're taking a look at the Kizzy, and I hope I'm saying that right, Kizzy K75 Pro. 75% three-mode keyboard, and as you can see, I got two different colorways we're gonna be taking a look at today. I don't know what happened there. Um, so, I'm pretty much going into a blind, I have not, heard any of the sound tests i've kind of i've just seen the, some of the promotional material and and i know that it's a gasket mount it's a three mode but the color weighs yeah i want to say there's five but i'll i'll confirm here when we get to the technical section so let's go ahead and see what's in one box we'll see them there in both and then we'll take a look at both keyboards so we've got oh this is a a nice big manual i gotta say Huh. Not just a user card, and um, for those of us that have bad eyesight, uh, I can't complain. <laughs> I can't complain. Uh, I like that right up front they have a 12-month warranty and guarantee, non-human damage. So that's good. Let's see what else we have in the box. We've got a rubberized USB cable, and nicely enough, they... Maybe they listened to me and they saw one of my videos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I know some companies are just doing it right. There's some companies that are not. And even though I keep begging, looking at you, Key Crime, um, they won't do this. They won't add the tag to the adapter. Uh, a lot of laptops nowadays don't even have USB-A port. All they have is USB-C ports. So... Um, it's nice to see that it's your standard rubberized cable, but you're going to have, you know, you're not going to lose the adapter in case you use it on your laptop, then you need to use it at home. We also have a wired key cap and key switch puller, uh, which is always nice with their logo, or their name on there. And we have some spare switches. Yes. Thank you. All pre built should include a minimum, a minimum of three switches. So let's see what we've got here. We've got, huh. This is a, um, they've actually got self-branded Kizzy switches, and they've got that, um, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is like a uh, uh, diffuser, so it helps the light, it literally sits on top of the LED when you put it on the board, so that it gets diffused out through here, so it's not going to be blocked by the switch at all. And we have, ooh. It's a nice linear though. The spring needs a little, a little lubrication because there is. I don't know if that's getting recorded that high pitch ping, but um, I believe it's. Uh, it could be a little bit of the leaf spring as well. I think I hear two different pings in there, but it is a nice, not too light linear. That is a long pull. I would say probably 3.8 millimeter travel, but I'll, I'll look for the specs before I confirm anything. So that's what's in the box. So since they sent me two keyboards, there are two different switches. This is a tactile. It also sounds like it could use a little bit of lubing, so it's a stock tactile, but I, I like it. It's definitely... Um, more pronounced than a brown, but not the heaviest, so I'd call it a mid-weight tactile, and it's... I think it actually has a little bit of pre-travel before you actually get into the depth of the bump. And then you obviously feel it on the way back up, but I'll find the specs of these here once we get into it. So here we are with the Kizzy K75 Pro. Um, I've got to say, on initial impression, I love the design. 
but if you've been watching, I am a bit of a retro geek. Um, the beige colors on here with the uh, mix with the blues and the faded out reds, it gives me a huge Gundam feelings. Um, I like the lines that go all the way around. Now, this is just a mode switch, but I'm not missing anything. I mean, I don't have my volume knob, but I'm sure I could program one of these to take care of it. But we do have um, a screen here. I'll have to look. I believe it's an OLED screen, but I'm not for certain. And we obviously have indicator of charging, caps lock, or that might be caps lock. That might be Windows lock. Or no, that might be caps lock. Well, I have to figure that out. So, and then this colorway, which is um, quite common, I forget what the original one was. Though, I think they added the, the green and the blue, which I actually like that touch. Um, so, let's, uh, let's take a look here. Oh, gotta have my delete key there. I wish that the secondary was insert, but I've gotta believe that we can program it. Here we see we have the one, two, three for the Bluetooth devices. Let's look underneath. Yep, there we are. We have a nice pocket for, and you got your logo on here as well. Very nice. So we got a magnetic pocket for the USB dongle, and it's also branded, so it's gonna be a lot easier to find the matching companion if it were to be lost. Now here, it looks like we have USB-C, um, a pass-through. It looks like we could add, this looks like it needs to go to the computer and I guess here, I mean that's a thumb, looks like a thumb drive. Um, and then you have a USB-A port. So it actually, I mean technically has a hub and one of those is a USB-C port, which is nice because more and more accessories are starting to use that standard. You think that it was almost new, but it's been around what, since 2012? Uh, probably earlier. We do have some pretty nice caps. Let's take a look at one of these. They are double shot and they're fully double shot. Body, not just the top. That's some nice clean molds. These look, yeah, these are, they look like OEM uh, key caps. All right, so taking a set of calipers out, going to, 1.4 all right so that's a nice thickness i usually for me minimum is one millimeter and that's just the bare minimum but 1.4 to 1.6 that's usually the sweet spot um though if they they get thicker they get deeper um, so that's a that's definitely nice thing to find on a pre-built keyboard some double shot keycaps they feel like pbt but again i i have to look this up i'll put Put this in the technical section all right so let's take a look at these stabilizers now we also have a pc plate which is really nice all oh, these stabilizers are pretty much as tight as they're going to get on here and they do feel like they have a nice palm softness to them now let me see all right we are we've got lube stabilizers and they didn't go too crazy on them and they do appear to be newer stabilizers that do not require any clipping although it's got a little ridge in the middle of it that's kind of new although I wonder if that acts like as a bit of a bumper could be now we do have what looks like oh, actually feels like rubber doesn't feel like PE or IPXE but and we do have what feels like a also a silicone rubber between the pc plate and the pcb but we do not seem to have any holes on the pcb for pcb mounted stabilizers so some of these i find and some of these i don't so but i always like to check just to make sure Now, though these are stock, I'm going to I'm going to guess that they're actually going to sound pretty good. Um, I don't think the P 
King will be as apparent. If it was a steel plate, it would be very apparent uh, because it would just resonate across the plate and also make other switches resonate. That's what makes steel plated keyboards resonate a lot. So this having a PC plate, I think is gonna be its saving grace when it comes to the sound test, but For a pre-built keyboard, even a year ago, you wouldn't have been able to find something that sounded this good out of the box. They were only just starting to go that way, and they just keep getting better. They have, they just continue to get better. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Actually, we've been playing with one, let's play with the other. All right. This one looks like it goes to the computer. Are we right? Looks like it. All right, so that's just battery percentage. All right. That's nice, though. I mean, that's one of the things. If you're going to use a wireless keyboard, it's almost like your cell phone. I mean, you wouldn't go out with your cell phone if it only had, like, 3%, and you're going to go out for the day. But, you know, yes, a few keyboards do have key combinations, but something that you could just look down and say... Oh, okay. I got enough charge to last me. Let's take it or oh, I better plug it in overnight so I can take it in tomorrow morning. Anyway, and despite not having uh, shine through keycaps, which I personally prefer this over uh, shine through, we still have plenty of RGB. Now, obviously, that PC plate, as well as those diffusers that these switches come with, is a big part of making this look so good. I mean, these colors are just pretty vibrant, they're bright, they just come through really well. All right, and static, yep. And the, the side legends or the front legends allow you to see right off the bat. You, you actually have the Windows, I mean, the Mac. On the set on the front as well um, but with these legends that's change colors and that's change effect that's pretty universal I'm glad that glad to see that that's becoming more and more the case obviously there's the win and Mac mode this is the kind of keyboard that you know not only are the, the keycaps something I would actually keep on it because they're decent keycaps um, the keycaps actually provide me information that works i i have plenty of keyboards especially older ones that it's like everyone came up with their own symbol for what changing light is and if they did have the legends it just didn't make sense anyway i'm just babbling but i do like that um let's see how about i try out no, not two four bluetooth oh there it is i just took a second to show up all right Connected. Yep. Nice. This keyboard does really just sound really nice. Um, extremely nice for a stock pre built, I've got to say. But that connected fairly quick. Um, let me see if I switch it off and switch it back on. See how quick it reconnects. It's going to go to the first one. Oh, that's connected. That's pretty quick. All right. Nice. So we see that the wireless functionality is good. Um, I got to say, the fact that it has a hub. I got. I also. I love the bigger nuts that they're using on there. It just gives it that. I don't know. Almost, almost like a little bit of steampunk. Not really, but I don't know. This reminds me of Gundam a bit. The colors. I know there's there's a keycap set this colorway, but I can't recall the name of it off the top of my head. But yeah, this is definitely just a 
Nice 75 percent. Uh, we have a very decent amount of flex. I mean, that whole board's almost going down. Uh, I wonder. Yeah. I think I'm going to come back to open it up, but today I'm just going to stick with it stock because if I open it up, I'm going to be tempted to want to go ahead and start um, <clears throat> modding it out. So. I'm going to go ahead and stick with stock today, but I'm definitely going to come back to it. I love the look of this keyboard. I really do. Now, I always have to have a knob, but that's why I have a handful of macro pads that have the knob already. And because this is a 75%, I've got plenty of space to be able to stick it on the side. I've got my full numpad pad for when I need to use, do it. A lot of data entry or doing accounting, which is always fun. But... So I don't need the knob here. I mean, yeah, that could have been a switch. And that could have been a regular knob. And that could have been a switch over here. But, like I said, it does have the hub. And that, to me, especially when I'm on the road. Um, or even, actually, in my secondary desktop situation. I, will, I prefer, as I do, I mean, there's only a couple of boards that I have that have that. Royal Clutch 100 being one of them, but that I can plug my dongle for my wireless mouse because I always use a wireless mouse right in there and it's a lot closer so I don't have to worry about, oh, I plugged it in the back of the computer and if I move just a little too far, it might start losing signal or just start hiccuping across the screen, which is always fun. So nice colorways. It sounds excellent um, stock and it does appear that there's more of a open cell phone, a soft phone, below the PCB. So it definitely is well dampened. I like this tactile switch. It's not overly tactile. Another thing that I think a lot of people are going to appreciate. So if you do want to switch these out, the keycaps, despite them being nice, of course, hey. I probably will do that to one, if not both of these at some point. But you're south facing. So even if you're using older switches, cherry key caps, you're not going to have any uh, interference problem though. Yeah, I don't think this switch would have it. So being that it is, I don't know, is that tactile long pole? I'm going to have to look up the specs of these. I've got to say, this is a... Uh, an interesting keyboard I I like what I see and I love that in stock and pre builts are getting so much better um, trying to think of something comparable to this uh, back even a year ago and I mean the ones that were in this price range were just not you you were spending honestly if you wanted a good 75 percent wanted to spend less than a hundred dollars you're most likely going to get something with a steel plate it, it, there wasn't too much they were starting to come up in price or come down in price and come up in features but it's really it's almost like a different world out there nowadays i mean the keyboards that are coming out they just keep blowing my mind because i I used to come across way more when I first started I it was almost a, a 50 50 one keyboard would be eh, another keyboard would be eh. you know some were were a little bit better and some were not as good but now more and more of these stock keyboards are coming out and I really can't not that I look for something to complain about but I really can't find anything that I'd say, oh, okay, you know, that's just bad. Because um, they're well thought out, they're well built. Yeah, I would have done the switch different. Some people like it. And they're going to be switching you know, back and forth. I get it. I personally would have made a switch in the back and either added another key in an F13 or added a knob. 
even if it was a slider knob, not on the side. That, but you know, it's got the screen, it's got the nice lines. I'm not gonna. Am I gonna go crazy without the knob? No. I've already got volume functionality here, and I can do it. Plus, I can find it because it's these two keys. So even if I'm not looking, which is the reason I like to have a knob, I'm gonna be able to do the volume. Just the specs. Today we took a look at the Keezy K75 Pro 3 mode 82 key pre-built into colorways, the arcade games, and the Rhine River. This is a three and five pin hot swap south facing PCB that comes well dampened as well as with a PC plate and plate mounted stabilizers. It has four layers of dampening which provides for a very nice stock sound. It also includes a USB-C and USB-A pass-through port as a mini hub in the back. It is powered by a 3750 milliamp hour battery and is available in seven colorways, including Arcade Games, Night Gray, Lemon Green, Moose Cake, Rhine River, Sakura Pink, and Time Machine Green. The chin of this keyboard sits at 18 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 30 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 7 degrees. Using the first set of flip out beat, raises the back up to 33 millimeters and changes the angle of typing to 8 degrees. Using the final set of flip out beat, will raise the back up to 39 millimeters, providing for a typing angle of 10 degrees. Now this keyboard does weigh in at 901 grams and MSRPs for $119.99, though below I have a 10% off coupon and it is currently on sale on Amazon for $89.99. There are two different choices of switches that you can pick with this keyboard, both linear and tactile. For the linear switch, it's called the moment or momentary switch. It is made from a palm top and bottom housing, an LY stem, and a 40 gram plus or minus 5 gram spring. The tactile switch available with this keyboard is called Eternity. It is also made from a palm top and bottom housing, as well as an LY stem with a 40 gram plus or minus 5 gram spring weight all right so today we took a look at what is one of the nicer 75 percent wireless keyboards we see out there um, now the screen is not um, customizable we only have the percent the battery percentage on there which is probably the uh, most important metric especially if you're on the go um, now the list price at $119.99 a year ago, I'd say, wow, this is a deal. But looking at how the market is right now, it feels a little overpriced. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a great keyboard, but since it's plastic, I mean, it is wireless, so we have to take that into consideration. But the Halo 75 is the same price. And that has an aluminum top. So I'm just saying. Now, having said that, practically every listing that I saw for this, and including uh, the listing that I'll be sharing below, includes a 10% discount. Um, a lot of these uh, include up to a $30 discount. So many of these are available. This is available on many different places for under $100. Now, at that point, at $80, $90, I think. This is a much better price uh, value proposition uh, because you are getting a good keyboard stock ready to go out of the box. Most people are going to be just fine with the keycaps. I probably could live with them too, although I want to do more mods, so I'd be switching them out. But if I just had to use this stock like that, I wouldn't complain. Uh, the stabilizers are good. The switches could use some lubing, but because of the PC plate, you don't really hear the ping. I mean, unless you got your ear up to the keyboard. Otherwise, you're just not going to hear anything. It sounds quite nice.
So what can I say about these keyboards? I gotta say, I like it. I think that they offer a good combination of features. Um, something, I, I, I'm weird. Uh, yes, I like OLED screens that are customizable, but I said in previous videos before, I'm like, why not just an indicator of what my battery percentage is? Uh, that said, it has a 3,750 milliamp hour battery. I'm curious to see. I may just end up tr try this out. I may end up just trying one of these keyboards out for a week, wireless with the lights on, and see what kind of um, uh, percentage uh, usage I get because I can actually, you know, I won't be guessing. I can actually say, okay, started at 100%, used for X number of hours. Now the percentage is this. Divide. I used roughly this amount of percentage per hour. I've, I would guess maybe a third, maybe a fourth of a percent per hour. Who knows? Maybe more, maybe less. But I definitely am going to come back to it and try to, well, not try. I will open it up. I'm going to guess these two screws are a part of it. I did not see any screws, but I did not take all of the keycaps off. But they sound good stock. I think that lubing the switches as well as doing a tape mod and maybe even the pet mod which pet mod i will get into shortly i do have a video i'm working on i'm still having to clean up from the storm plus uh it's uh getting ready to be back to school next week so i'm getting all that ready also we have a giveaway on budget cubes we're celebrating 25,000 members although we're almost 26,000 now but there will be one of these that will be one of the prizes. Um, I believe it's on the Saturday, on the second, but I don't know. I don't have the schedule in front of me. So there will be a Kizzy K75 Pro up for a giveaway from Kizzy. So if you guys are looking forward to these and you want to you wanna give it a shot, hey, come on by. Um, all you really need to do is enter a comment, a top level comment, and you're entered in the giveaway. So good luck to you if you're going to try that out. Otherwise, I, I got to say, I'm I think, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but these in-stock keyboards are only continuing to get better and better. Now, Kizzy is a brand, I, like I said, I think they're, they're newer entrant, but if this is what they're going to come out with and they got more, I, I like it. I love the color choices. Um, I love the retro look. I love the lines on the keyboard. I'm not in love with the pricing. You do have some decent switches that actually perform pretty good, even though they got ping. Um, if I had more time, I'd go ahead and do the, I'd go ahead and do stock as well as lube switches. But I don't, I, I, I don't think it's going to make a significant difference. So I'm going to just leave the switch lubing for when I come back to mod it, so I can do that all around. And I'll probably do a, a comparison sound test at that point but today i'm going to go ahead and leave you with a sound test of both of these as i said one of these has the eternity now i really like this tactile switch um, it has very minimal wobble north to south and nothing to speak of east to west basically it is a medium um, bump so it's definitely more more tactile than a brown but it's not a heavy tactile like, say, a U14. It's a light tactile. Um, both of the spring weights on these are 40 grams when I was able to read. It has an LY stem in both top and bottom palm housing. It looks nice. It feels nice. And on a regular press, the ping is minimal. On a flip press, it's quite apparent. So I'm looking forward to opening these up and lubing them. Um, I don't know the manufacturer of these but i'll reach out to kizzy and see if they'll let me know so anyway um yeah so we took a look at these keyboards uh i mean i gotta say if the price is right if you can get these on sale for what you get especially if you're looking for a keyboard that you just want to pull out of the box and go i think this is going to be one of those that you can add to the list because it's definitely great stock now I have a pet peeve, I'll probably end up lubing the switches for the one I decide to use, and I most likely will go with the tactile one, but we will see. So I'm going to be leaving you guys with a stock sound test um, with the tactile eternity switch and the linear 
momentary switch. I'd like to know what you guys think about this keyboard. Um, do you agree with my assessment that it's a good board, but maybe priced a little bit higher? Or what are your thoughts on it? Also, if you have any thoughts of what I should do when I come back to this keyboard uh, to modify it, um, or anything you want me to take a look out for when I'm in there, please let me know in the comments below. Let's start a conversation. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with a stock sound test of both of these um, K75, K75 Pro from Kizzy with the two different switches that they have standard. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.